Welcome to Asbury United Methodist Church. My name is Peter. And today, we're going to start by looking at the circle of the church year. And when we look at the circle of the church year, we realize that after this Sunday, there are only three Sundays left until the start of Advent. Now, remember, we are in green. And green is ordinary time when we learn about the life and times of Jesus. But this Sunday, being the first Sunday of November, is also a very special Sunday. For this Sunday is called All Saints Sunday. And on this Sunday, we remember those individuals who have died in our congregation or who have died that we know of. And we, spay, and we pay special tribute to them in remembering them and the lives and how they have affected our lives. And what we normally do is, the first thing we do is usually say their name. Once their name is said, then we hear a bell rung. And as the bell is rung and it rings, we light a candle. to remember them and to remember all the things they have done and all the love they have shown us. And we leave the candles lit throughout the whole service so that we can ponder their lives and how their lives have touched us. And this is a time when some people might say, well, they're no longer here. How can we remember them? We remember them by the love they have shown to us, by the care they have shown to us. And we remember them in our hearts. For in our hearts, their presence will always be there. So this is a special Sunday when we pause and reflect on the people who have loved us and taken care of us. Let's have a prayer. Good and gracious God, we thank you for those people who have touched our lives, who have given us love, shown us the way, who have been kind to us and helped us. May their memory continue to live on in our hearts each and every day. Amen. And today's godly play lesson is called The Ark and the Tent. This is the desert. It is a dangerous place. People do not go into the desert unless they have to. For there is no water in the desert. And without water, we die. There is no food. And without food, we die. And when the wind blows, it changes the shape of the desert. Some people get lost, and some never come back. And in the daytime, the sun is so hot that people wear lots of clothes to protect them from the sun and the blowing sand. And the sand stings when it hits your skin. And the sun scorches you by day. And at night, it is cold. So you need many clothes to keep warm. The desert is a dangerous place. People only go there if they have to. When God gave the people the 10 best ways to live, they loved them so much that they wanted to have them always with them. They thought they would help guide them and help them feel God's presence. 
So God told them to build a box called an ark to keep them in and to cover the ark with gold. And inside the ark, they kept the Ten Commandments on the tablets. On top of the ark are cherubim, ring creatures, and the ark was carried by the poles. Very fancy decorated. And to learn more about the ark and the exact building of the ark, you can go to Exodus 25, chapters 10 through 22, where we have the details of the building of the ark. And here's the ark that we'll be using today. They thought the ark would help guide them and feel God's presence. And God told them to build the ark and cover it with gold. It had poles on the side so that the people could always carry it with them wherever they went. Now, you just can't walk up to something as precious as the Ten Commandments. You need some way to get ready. So the people of God wondered what they could do. God told them to put an altar of incense in front of the ark. They could burn the incense to make a good smelling cloud of smoke. Now you could walk through the smoke to the ark. And help you and help you to get ready. But that's still was not enough. God then told them to put a table with 12 pieces of bread on one side and a seven-branch lampstand called a menorah on the other side. Now people could walk between the menorah, between the table, through the incense, to the to the ark. But still, that was not enough. Next, God decided to put walls of a tent around the ark. Around the ark, the incense, the table, and the menorah to keep this place set apart and to help get ready to come close to the presence of God.
And inside the tent, they made a place called the Holy of Holies, where the Ark of the Covenant was kept. And over the roof, they put four coverings. These do not look exactly like the coverings described in the Bible, but they will help us, and they'll help us remember. The first one was linen with purple and red figures of cherubim woven into it. The second one was made from woven goat's hair. The third one was ram skin dyed red. And finally, the outer one was a goat skins turned into leather. But still, that was not enough. Now, only the priest could go inside. And in those days, only men could be priests. Next, they put in front of the tent an altar covered with bronze for sacrifices. They also made a huge bowl of they also made a huge bowl of bronze called a laver that the priest could wash in to get ready for prayer and put that in front too. Then around this place they put a fence. And the fence went completely around. And the fence was made of cloth that could be rolled up and carried with them when they traveled. It marked the whole special area called the tabernacle. But yet, this was not all. The priests began to wear special clothes to help them get ready to go inside the holy place. And when all the tabernacle was finished, Moses blessed it. Aaron and all his sons were made the priests, and they carried the tent and the ark wherever the people of God traveled, and the Levites one of the tribes of Israel helped them. The Levites helped care for the tabernacle and to help conduct the worship there. And God gave Aaron and his sons these words to bless the people of God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Now I wonder, what part of the story you like best? The ark, the incense, the lampstand, table, the tent coverings. I wonder what part of the story is most important for you. I wonder where you are in the story or what part of the story is about you. I wonder 
if there is any part of the story that we can leave out and still have the whole story. And now hear these words of blessings once again. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace until we meet again. Amen.